Okay, the next part we'll model is the cow catcher. And the reason this is on the same page with the stack is yes, it's, it's another loft and it's a little bit more complicated loft than the stack. Um, the cow catcher has this neat little, you know, hundred thousandths offset on the trapezoidal front. And uh, in order for those to work and be correct, you gotta make sure that you model this correctly. So um, we will start with um, that's a sketch on the XZ plane. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, zoom in a little bit here and eyeball this with my line tool. I'm gonna start at the origin and I'm gonna draw kind of what might look like home plate. And I'm not too concerned about the size here because we're going to fix it in a minute. In fact, I purposely draw this incorrectly because we're going to demonstrate some uh, geometric tools. So I want this to be an isosceles pentagon. So I'm going to go up and select my equals constraint. And let's make those two sides equal to each other and make the two angled sides equal to each other. And then we will need to add some dimensions. Uh, it's 1.8 inches wide. And the two sides of the Pentagon are a quarter inch. And the distance from the front to the back is one inch. Okay, so we can see if we look at my sketch, all my lines have changed from blue to black. So my first sketch is fully constrained and I can also see that in the model tree by looking at the lock on my sketch. So I know that's fully constrained. Now, in order to loft this, I need an offset work plane. So I want an offset off the XZ plane and I want to offset up 0.75 inches. And then that's where I need to now draw on my next piece of paper. I need to make sure I select that offset plane that I just created. Okay, uh, again, we're gonna get our line tool and I'm gonna kinda eyeball this, but I'm gonna kinda draw it incorrectly on purpose so that we're gonna use some geometric tools to construct this. Uh, just like before, we'll use the equals constraint and make the two sides equal to each other and make those two equal to each other. And actually those sides should be the same as the quarter inch side. Um, I need to line some more things up. Uh, so up here in the geometric constraints panel, I have collinear. So I'm gonna put collinear, that back edge needs to line up with the one on the bottom. And horizontal vertical, that endpoint needs to line up with the other endpoint, so that'll slide it over. And now I think I probably am ready for some distances. The distance across it is 1.2. And the distance from front to back is 0.75. So, of course, with all my geometric constraints, I only needed two numbers. And, again, my sketch is fully constrained. So then, on the Create tab, we'll go up and select Loft. So we'll Loft from the front, or from the bottom profile. We have to click Plus Sign to select another one, and we say OK. Um, next thing I want to do, under modify, there's a shell command. So I want to select the face I want to remove. And I want to remove that face and our thickness is 100 thousandths of an inch. So that shells out the bottom, makes that cow catcher hollow. Say OK. Um, on my 
trapezoidal face, I can use the offset tool. Negative 0.1. Okay, and then I can do a cut extrude. Negative 0 0.05, 50 thousandths. Uh, do the same thing on the other side. Create the sketch. Offset negative 0.1. And a cut extrude. of negative 0 0.05. Okay, then all I have left is the three pegs on the back side, which need to line up with the holes that we drilled on the front of the train body. So again, we'll just do a sketch on the back and we need to sketch three circles, 0.125 inch in diameter. Now again, since they're all the same, I'm just going to draw the other two and make them equal. So that way I don't have to type numbers. Uh, we will go, we still need to dimension the location of those. So um, that middle peg is 0.625 above the bottom and the other ones are 0.125 above. Of course I like using horizontal and vertical so I'm going to go ahead and line those up horizontally. Let's line this one up vertically and need some other dimensions. Distance from there to the middle is 0.625 and that is the same for both of them. Of course you can also point at the other dimension so now when you see that function 0.625 that means this is tied to this dimension here. Uh, finish the sketch and this time when I extrude I want to make sure I select all three circles and those get extruded out as a join, a distance of 0.125. And then those pegs also have a 10 thousandths chamfer on them. So we'll just select the end of those pegs. Point zero one zero ten thousandths of an inch. And that's a cow catcher.